Now, Chris Cormier was kind of dogging uh, Tony on his legs, saying there's not enough deep lines and feathers in their quads. And that Tony needs to work on that. Yeah, I would agree with that. Tony has nice quad sweep and, you know, aesthetically pleasing legs. But he does need more separation. And we need to see the, the cross striations. Like when you flex down, you want to see the feathers when they're flexed. And when they're not flexed is what Chris Cormier was kind of alluding to. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. And we're going to do the top three for the 2024 Arnold Classic Brazil. And some news first that Carlos Thomas Jr. has dropped out of the Arnold Cla Classic Brazil. So now it's just down to top three here. That's all I'm going to talk about. There's no one else to really talk about in this show. That's a major threat. So good veto. This is going to be his pro debut at the Arnold Brazil. And, you know, he hasn't really posted that much video. You know, he's posted some photos. It's a great shot right here. The quads are obviously a dominant body part. The biceps also maybe some of the best biceps in the pro league right now. But. He hasn't done a pro show yet, and he needs to work on his posing. That's where I think he's going to get beat out by Tonio and Raphael. And, you know, in some of his fit pictures, I know he's using lots of filter on his photos. And I, I just haven't seen him perform yet. Right. And again, the posing needs work. He's good at staging these photos. But when it gets down to posing next to you know, I would say some veterans in the game now. They've done their pro shows. They've all they both won pro shows in the past. He hasn't. So for him to come into a pro show and beat out guys like Rafael Antonio would be a big deal. I don't see that happening. I see him sticking in that third place position. And, you know, we're going to see. We're going to we, anything can happen in these shows. You know, Antonio could come off. Rafael could not be as conditioned as we we think he needs to be, you know, and uh, you know, anything can happen. And you can see him here. I kind of noticed like he isn't as big as he looks in his photos. Like this girl standing behind, I don't know if this is his wife, but he's not that much bigger. Like he's not huge. He just has the illusion that he's a lot bigger than he actually is. All right. So let's tr transition into Raphael Brandeo. I don't know. Like I, 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 I have him winning because I think you know he's Brazil. He's gonna have the the upper hand. He's gonna have the hometown advantage. The crowd's gonna be behind him, and it's just even if he isn't as conditioned from the back, like uh, Tonio is, I still can see him winning because he is bigger than Tonio. He's got nice aesthetics, just like Tonio does. He's coming off a third place finish at the Arnold Classic Ohio. And he's in Brazil. So, I mean, come on. Like, I mean, sure, it's, you know, the, the judges aren't Brazilian judges. So it's not like it works like that. But you just, you know, he has the hometown advantage, right? He's got the support there. But so does Tony. Tony's been in Brazil. He's training too. And, you know, Rafael being trained by Neil Hill is a great asset. And, I definitely think it's going to be Rafael Brandeo first place, Tony O'Burton in second, and Good Vito in third place. But I feel like if there's anyone to pull off an upset, that it would be Tony O'Burton. We're going to take a look at him in a second here. Rafael, this is the most recent update he just posted to his stories. And he, the conditioning still really, to me, isn't where it needs to be. Uh, he was flexing his glutes next to uh, Flex Lewis. And Flex Lewis had better striations in his glutes than Raphael did. Right? And Flex getting ready for a show. So, that, you, know what I, you know what that says. Tony O'Burton, he's my favorite going into this show. I, I, I would hope for him to win. Um, but being a little bit outsized by Raphael. That's going to be a battle for him to try and take him out. He's going to beat 
Raphael in some of the back poses because he's going to have that conditioning. He's going to have the glutes in. He's going to have the super hard, dry, striated lower back, the Christmas tree. That's going to be in there. He's just going to be lacking in the size department, but he can give off that illusion. He's like that a Dexter Jackson 2.0, and he's got the ability to beat guys that are bigger than him. He did that at the Olympia when he placed eighth. So he has all the tools to be very competitive and take out a guy like Raphael. Um, it's just unfortunate that Carlos Thomas Jr. isn't there because I wanted to see how he's compared next to Tonio because they were supposed to compete at the New York Pro against each other. But that never happened. But you can see the backside here. Tonio, he com completely reminds me of Dexter Jackson. It's almost identical the way they look from the back. The genetics... Uh, and the deep cuts and separation in the back. Raphael doesn't have that, right? Raphael's a good back double bicep, but it's just not as dense as uh, Tonio. Tonio needs to build his chest up still. He needs the, some more thickness in the chest. As you can see there, bigger delts as well. He needs to, to thicken the delts and the caps of the delts up more. Arms can still be bigger. He can put on more size everywhere still. And that's, that's just the potential that... Antonio Burton has and he's in Brazil okay he's training with I think this guy's name is Joanne and with uh, Dragon Pharma and I like this I like, I like seeing them train hard pushing themselves to the limits I think that's what Tonio needed is to be trained like this be pushed because sometimes these guys have just good genetics and they kind of rely on that but then they get in the gym and they really get pushed they've been they they're freaked out they've never been through this before Right. And so I, th I think that's what Tony is experiencing right now there in Brazil. And I think it's going to pay off. I think he's going to come in a bit bigger than he was at the Olympia. Put on some size into the quads, as you can see here. Now, Chris Cormier was kind of dogging uh, Tony on his legs, saying there's not enough deep lines and feathers in their quads. Yeah, Tony needs to work on that. Yeah, I would agree with that. Tony has nice quad sweep. And, you know, aesthetically pleasing legs. But he does need more separation. And we need to see the, the cross striations. Like when you flex down, you want to see the feathers when they're flexed. And when they're not flexed is what Chris Cormier was kind of alluding to. And that he wants to see. So leave a comment below. Who do you think is going to win the 2024 Arnold Brazil? Rafael Brandeo, Tony Burton, or Good Vito? I, it's going to be a close battle between Tonio and Raphael. Could go either way. But right now I have Raphael winning the show. All right, guys. I love you. Catch you on the next one. Peace.